Okay guys, welcome back to episode two of our Tech Tuesday. We've got another cool little feature here in the garage for you again. Uh, we're gonna show, you guys got to see on the last episode us using these tools right here with Dad. And uh, this week, we're gonna show you something really neat on how you can make this piece right here. I think it's gonna turn out really cool. My dad's gonna walk you guys through all the steps and I think we're gonna have a good time and we're gonna rock and roll here. process this is nothing really new a lot of people's done this there's different ways of doing about anything that you want to do with sheet metal uh, this is something that I learned a long time ago out of some books uh, the first person I ever seen actually do this was my brother that builds a lot of race cars um, he used it a piece similar to this to make the ribs to go in a, a wing for like top fuel cars or alcohol funny car or dragsters and stuff. I just drew this up on CAD, something, nothing really measured out really close. The only thing that I've measured out that's real good is would be the quarter inch border that's going to be around the edge that ends up getting bent over throughout the process. Go. Okay, here we got the hammer die bolted together with the sheet metal sandwiched in between. We're just going to start bending it over. I use this piece of, uh, a lot of people call them a corking tool. It's just a piece of metal with a piece of round bar stock. Keeps from marring up, helps bend over the edge without actually hitting it with the hammer. So far, you can actually start using a regular body camera. Something that I made, some people laughs at it. Works pretty good for me. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's got a, the top of the hammer has got a, a radius, real similar to what the radius is in here. Uh, helps bend this over, keeps from putting the smiley faces, scarred marks in the metal, as opposed to this flat hammer. And as you can see, we've got some marred up places that'll be taken care of with a file and a sander that comes with the metal finishing. And when we get done with it, it'll be a smooth piece like that part. Man, that's so cool, guys. So, so let's just look over this piece real quick here. So what he's done is you, you've seen the thick pieces of metal that he had cut out on the plasma table. And he was able to form this piece of sheet metal over with the hammer. And that's really impressive, especially if you're trying to do a lot of work to where you're in a, an area that you've got a lot of curvature to and you're needing to bend it over but a press or a, a regular old, uh, sheet metal brake just does straight lines and this comes in really handy in areas to where you have more than just straight lines you can see he's got an outside curve 
and the inside curving here and that is really handy that's super cool right there a very neat um, tech tip Tuesday here so dad the next step will be you can just keep working with this to get it as tight as you want by using a steel uh, hammer forms like this you could make multiple pieces I mean uh, the amount of money that it would cost to have a, a traditional type press to be able to press something other out like this would, would be a lot of money something like this you can cut this stuff out on a bandsaw, grind it down to however you want it. I'm fortunate enough I have a plasma table. I'm able to cut my own stuff out. Makes it a lot quicker. Uh, could also make parts like this for other people if they would actually, you know, send me some measurements. Uh, what they would, you know, if they had something that they wanted to make like this. Uh, very affordable. You guys will notice how he's holding the file here. This is kind of a neat little trick that Dad taught me. This is called draw filing, isn't it, Dad? Yep. And uh, if you if you file this way, believe it or not, there's a correct way of holding a file, believe it or not. And uh, if you file something this way, it'll actually shave more material off, and it will shave it evenly. And uh, it's kind of a pretty neat little handy tip to use if you're filing anything with any type of file. It's, it's definitely a correct way to use your tools. And as you can see, we're starting to get rid of some of those dimple dents in that we, were, we created with the hammer process. And again, this is the sheet metal. This is the other side of the uh, form right here. And also, I highly recommend anybody that messes with sheet metal, you need to wear gloves. This stuff will cut you like a razor blade. And stitches is not fun. like that, you cleaned up pretty good. Got one little place over here that needs some more attention. And you got to remember, this is 20 gauge steel. You don't want to just, you got to keep the file moving back and forth. You got to keep the sander moving back and forth so you don't go through on the metal. That thing turned out nice, man. Uh, it, another super cool episode down there. Um, these pieces turned out super nice. It was very, very simple. Now both pieces are identical there. I mean, you can do a lot of different things with this. Here, if you look in on the corner here, and see how, what kind of gap we got. We had to do that to be able to get the, the die out of it. That's where these tools come in handy. simple example of what can be done with stuff like this is like a you could make a oil catch can be like this with the metal wrapped around end up TIG welding it together and you'd have a crazy looking shape tank you know with these pieces but that's that's the general idea of how people do this kind of stuff you can make small bracketry for interior parts that, that's hidden that you don't see uh, very lightweight and it's super strong this is the kind of stuff that aircraft, this is where these ideas came from, is airplanes. Thank you.
to everybody for joining in. This is a simple deal here. Most anybody with common hand tools in the garage can make these kind of pieces. Uh, it's something that's really fun to be able to do with, with your son. Or if you got a daughter, some daughters, these girls like doing this stuff too. So this is nothing. I like to see people get in the garage and do things. We got a lot of crazy things in the world. And this kind of stuff gets your mind off all that kind of stuff. Thanks everybody. Uh, be sure to check out Houston Kilby's channel on YouTube. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you dad so much for coming on the channel and uh, showing us this. Uh, you guys be sure to keep following us and uh, we got tons more coming. Till next time, you guys have a good one.